Welcome back to the AI Daily Brief. Apologies and bear with me for the voice. Hopefully we are back to normal by the beginning of next week. Today we are talking about Google's latest model release, which of course is inescapably going to be compared to DeepSeek as the model du jour. We're going to discuss both how the model stacks up, what people's reactions to it are, and what it all means for this question of pre-training versus scaling at the point of inference. So TLDR, Google has released their latest flagship model, Gemini 2.0 Pro. The model is still labeled as experimental and is available for early testing through Google AI Studio and Vertex AI. In addition, Google has made their leading reasoning model, Gemini 2.0 Flash Thinking, generally available to all app users. And viewing this through the lens of that competition with DeepSeek, Gemini's move to put Flash Thinking in their mainline product has had them follow suit to make a reasoning model easily available for regular users. During the DeepSeek news cycle a week or two ago, many pointed out that Google's model was basically on par in both cost and performance, but having the model hidden away in AI Studio obviously hurt distribution and broader awareness. A couple areas where it feels like Google has a meaningful advantage, neither DeepSeek R1 nor OpenAI's O3 Mini accept image or document uploads as inputs, and Gemini also has native integrations with Google Maps, YouTube, and Search, so can start to handle some basic agentic functions related to those apps. When it comes to Gemini 2.0 Pro, the company's flagship model is optimized for coding and complex prompts. Google continues to hammer their industry-leading token context window, now up to 2 million tokens, which allows it to take about 7 books as input, or significant chunks of even the largest code base. Standard benchmarking ranks the model below OpenAI's O1 or O3 Mini on high and medium settings. It's also below Gemini Flash 2.0 thinking. The AI for Success account, however, highlighted the issue with comparing these models, posting, Why on earth would you compare Gemini 2.0 Pro with O3? Gemini 2.0 Pro isn't a reasoning model. Looks like Google should have just launched a Gemini 2.0 Pro reasoning model instead of this. It's still the best non-reasoning model available. So that is the model, but what's more interesting is what it says about the state of Frontier AI more broadly. This is the first flagship model Google released since concerns were raised about pre-training hitting a wall last November. Presumably, this was the updated version of Gemini that sources told Bloomberg was not living up to internal expectations. Bindu Reddy was very quick to declare that Google had hit the wall as the model lagged behind advanced reasoning models and the benchmarks. She wrote, The new Gemini 2.0 Pro underperforms O3, O1, and R1. Pre-training seems to have hit a wall, and all the gains are coming from scaling inference. Gemini 2.0 Pro falls behind its much smaller Gemini 2.0 Flash thinking version. Overall, it doesn't shine on coding either and is still behind Sonnet 3.5. Logan Kilpatrick, product lead at Google AI Studio, seemed to disagree, commenting, no wall in sight. Then again, it's always risky to talk too much about benchmarks versus real-world use. On that front, Professor Ethan Mollick seemed reasonably impressed, writing, I gave Gemini 2.0 the prompt, create something I can paste into P5.js that will startle me with its cleverness in creating something that invokes the control panel of a starship in the distant future. The result was pretty good, a viewport with stars whizzing past, a few well-animated dials and controls. Ethan noted that Gemini 1.5 Pro couldn't do it. Others tried the real-world physics test of animating a bouncing ball inside a rotating hexagon. Again, pretty good and better than the results from Gemini 2.0 Flash Thinking. I Rule the World MO, the Strawberry Leaker account, posted the results of their Pac-Man game coding test, writing, okay, I have to be fair, other than what I suspect was full 03, this is easily the best one-shot Pac-Man game I've hit. AI scientist Mark Watson wrote, I just tried Gemini 2.0 for the first time with a complex Python coding request. The code was beautiful and worked. Might have been close to the most impressive code generation I have seen. At least on par with O3 Mini High, that also did a perfect job with the same coding problem. That was just one test, but I'm delighted with both models. On the other hand, the model fails the strawberry test, thinking the word has only two R's. Now, the silly strawberry test kind of highlights one of the issues that we face when it comes to determining how good new models are. Basically, benchmarks at this point are pretty soaked and they really don't tell us all that much about model performance. When GPT-4 was released, it was a gigantic step up from GPT-3, and O1 brought a similar feeling of progress by adding the new modality of reasoning. But now models are broadly good enough to produce great results for all of the standard use cases. Ultimately, Gemini 2.0 Pro seems to be very good, but not a step change in performance. Then again, at this point, AI consumers don't seem to be looking for a step change in performance. Indeed, perhaps the main axis of competition recently is speed and cost. There are some users who want the best reasoning model with long inference times to produce PhD-level reports. By and large, AI developers are looking for the cheapest and fastest API they can find to power their app ideas. In that world, adding a few points to a benchmark score is far less important than cutting the price in half. Google have been competing hard on that front with their smaller models, so we'll see if their full release helps capture additional market share. My sense is that at this point, unless we see some major, major capability changes, most all of these incremental improvements are going to be much less impactful from a news cycle standpoint than they might have been a year or two ago. That's going to do it for today's AI Daily Brief. Appreciate you listening or watching as always. 
And until next time, peace.